Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Last episode, the reason I cut off so abruptly was because there was a wasp in my room. I think it's gone now. Pretty sure. Well, it has been about a day or so. So I'm pretty sure it's gone. Or dead. Or both. Huh. Wow. Ugh. <laughs> well, that's not good. Um, let's pick up this thing, shall we? Come show, you idiot. Hmm. Okay. I think I know where we need to go now. We've got a few things we need to talk to someone about. God, it's hard to get back to that place. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna go here. Gumshoe, you stay here. Stay. Stay. Hey, I thought I told you to stay. <laughs> huh. Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Uh, when I went through this again, I guess I kind of forgot. I had to go through it again because I forgot to save. But um, I forgot to talk to Larry about Iris. Yeah, yeah, we all know about this. Blah, 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 blah. I did everything it's supposed to, wasn't it? Okay, so, now let's, for some reason, okay, so now we should be able to move there. Now, if we move back to the main gate, he should be gone. Yeah. Okay, so everything's working now. Uh, he's gone. Alright, so now everything should be good. Uh, sorry about that. My bad. I should have talked to him when I was replaying through, but oh well. Now, um, Iris should be here. There we go. Alright, so... We've got something we need to talk to her about. Do 
Inner Temple. Yep, so we gotta break those Psylocks. Luckily, we have the uh, everything we need to do. So. Oh, that was awesome! and be a little bit quiet so you guys can hear it again because I don't know if I was talking over it or not. Alright, so let's see. We need to present this. Take that. I love I love his voice when he says take that. It sounds so much better than Phoenix's. Yep, there is one person who she doesn't want her secret told to, and that's... Take that. So why was she frightened? I don't believe that completely. I think he has a clue as to who you are. Phoenix is not an idiot. But, let's go to this heavenly hall. I swear that... What is it with this game and having places that sound like... Like, brothels or whorehouses? The... What, what, what was the first one? It was the, the Den of Earthly Delights, and now we have the Heavenly Hall. Both of these could be names for whorehouses. It's 
See, it even freaking looks like it could be one. My dog wants attention. Luckily, I can play this game with one hand. Oh god, what did he do? Seriously, he has. Alright, so before anything, let's go through the conversation tree. There's not much left of this, actually, believe it or not. Uh, after this, there's... Yeah, th this is it. And believe it or not, he's got another set of Psylocks on him. See, it's a whorehouse. Tell me about Iris again. Uh-huh. I don't think so. I would be. Yeah, seriously. Alright, what about the night of the crime? Yeah, seriously. Alright, so, like always, we have to break some Psylocks. This is a very Psylocke heavy episode, too. <coughs> Alright, so... No. Uh, yeah, this. There's no way you could have seen that from the main hall.
he was at the Heavenly Hall. Also, awesome picture up here. <laughs> He was waiting for Iris. Who else would he be freaking waiting for? exactly what it is. And I almost clicked the wrong button. This. Yeah, seriously. Such an idiot. Alright, the night of the crime. Is such an idiot. Yeah, seriously, never expect something from a guy like him. Just something incredible.
How many locks? How many locks? Holy fuck! Jeez! Well, that's it, people. Five freaking Psylocks! Good lord! Well, if you want to see how this is going to turn out, and if you want to see Ed Edgeworth being a defense attorney, and who the judge is going to be, you'll have to tune in for the next episode. This has been Mr. Kotor X. I remember, folks, there's no point being an adult if you can't act childish from time to time, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.